Move your feet, move your feet. Right there, that was what we want. One, two, three. Oh. Hi, I'm Matt Azevedo, head wrestling coach at Drexel University. Come on, get in position. Move those feet to get out of that tie. Let's go. Wrestle. Coming into the season, I, I, set, the, I set my goals high. Um, you know, I, I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know what I was going to be walking into, where the talent level was going to be, where the commitment level was going to be. Um, and I was very pleasantly surprised to see that we had a great group of kids, good team camaraderie, uh, great work ethic. Um, and you know, but we had a lot of things to work on, a lot of things to work on it. And we've gotten a lot better in a lot of areas. We have a long ways to go. I mean, we are not anywhere close where we want, where we want to be, but we are working in the right direction and we are making dramatic improvements. So, you know, I, I, like, the way, I like where a lot of our guys are at. Um, so, I mean, overall, it's, it's been good. It's been good. It's been, the, the guys have responded well to what we are bringing as a coaching staff. We're requiring them to hit things at a high standard and strive for perfection when they're working out. Um, and, and, then, and then I think we've, our number one thing that we've tried to bring to the room is increasing the intensity level. When I first got here, I felt like the intensity level was very, very low. Um, not a lot of excitement in the room. And so that's one thing that we've tried to bring is more excitement to the practice room, a higher intensity level, and we have been very demanding when it comes to that. If they aren't bringing the intensity level that we want, then we just keep pushing and pushing and pushing until they do it the way we want them to, and then say, okay, that's what we want. Now try to replicate that, you know? We still have little, little fallbacks that we're, we're still trying to correct. But I think by the time the conference championship comes around, you know, we're, we're gonna like where we're at. The one nice thing about uh, wrestling is that it is an individual sport. You basically have 10 individuals, like say in a dual meet or in a tournament, you have 10 separate individuals that go out and compete separately. I mean, it really, their performance has no bearing on the next guy or the other guy's performance has no bearing on them. Um, so really you're looking at 10 separate performances. So you're trying to prepare 10 separate guys and the preparation is different for each guy. And you know, you can actually not have a very good dual season in wrestling, but if you get an all American, that's a great accomplishment or you have a national champion or you have conference champions individual conference champions or you know multiple all-americans uh that's a great accomplishment i mean that's really the goal in wrestling is to win conference titles and go become all-americans at ncaa's which is placing top eight and and eventually winning a national championship our goal is to get a full team of guys that are at that caliber and at that level um you know right now we've got four guys that have really stepped up and shown that they um, can compete with the top guys in the country. And, and so, you know, we've got four guys ranked in the first coaches poll that came out last week. So, you know, those guys are, are doing the right things and, and showing the United States that they can, they can be at that level. Our biggest issue as a team is finishing our, our takedowns. You know, we are a, a, a team that likes to attack the legs and we attack the legs pretty often in matches but we probably only finish about half of the shots, the, the shot attempts that we take. You know, if we're gonna attack the legs as often as we do, we need to be scoring more takedowns. Our percentage of finishing needs to go up and that's been a big issue. Hey, you're doing exactly the opposite of what I want you to do. You're moving your hips away instead of moving them in. Go into the pressure. You're trying to pull away from it. For me, the experience has been complete, has been really positive. I mean, obviously, there's there's things there's always gonna be things that you don't like or things that don't go the way you want them to. But overall, my experience as a head coach at Drexel University has been awesome. More, 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 more. Up it. Nice, nice. I think I think we're doing a good job. I think we have a good game plan. I think we're implementing it. I think the guys are are very receptive to what. Uh, we're bringing to the table and I think we're seeing the results, you know, I mean I've tried to implement a lot of the things that I've learned and, and some have worked and some haven't I think one of our greatest successes is that we're putting more people in the stands um, we've had four home matches and You know, we've had a great turnout for every dual meet um, 
you know, and everyone says, you know, it's the, wow, the turnout's great, it's great. So the stuff we're doing on that side of things is working really well. And I think with the social media stuff that we're doing, we're getting a buzz out about Drexel. And people are now, Drexel's starting to become on the map. People know where it's at. I think we're creating a buzz and people are, 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 are taking notice. So that, that part's been great. We've got a locker room project in the works. We got a brand new mat this year. Um, you know, they've, they've really given me the tools that I've needed to execute the plan that I want to execute. So that part has been incredible. We have so many people in the athletic department that are willing to help and it's made my job a lot easier uh, because of all the help that we've gotten. And, um, and I think the team, I mean, I didn't know what kind of team this was going to be. I didn't know what I was walking into. I didn't know what the culture was going to be. Um, and the guys are work very hard. They're a great group of guys that get along. They great families. We have probably a group of six parents, like six sets of parents that come to every single match, no matter where it's at, out in Las Vegas, down in North Carolina. So we have a great support system and that has been awesome. That has been awesome. I mean, it's it's nice to go on the road and have fans in the stands, and it's not like that for every program around the country, and we have that. So we have a very supportive uh, family base, and um, so it, it's been really good. It's been really good. I, I, I'm a true believer of, the, you know, the best programs do the best recruiting, you know. They're, they're not at the top for, for no reason. It's not, it's not magic, you know. They're getting the best recruits. Um, so recruiting is probably, if not the most important thing in college sports. And so when I got this job, I just, I got, got right on the recruiting trail. And, um, you know, we worked really hard this summer to get the best recruits that we could get. And, um, you know, Win Magazine uh, ranked our recruiting class 21st in the country and ahead of a lot of big time schools, big conference schools. So that was a, a pretty cool accomplishment. I mean, I was, I'm very proud of our recruiting class. We brought in uh, three kids from Illinois. Uh, one of them is ranked fifth in the country, Gage Harry. He's a national champion. He's a state champion, and he's currently ranked fifth in the country at 182 pounds. We brought in Matt Samato from Pennsylvania. I think he's ranked 10th or 11th in the nation right now. Took third in the state last year. He's a one, probably 41, 49 pounder. Uh, and then we've got a kid from Nevada who's uh, going to probably be a 174 pounder in college. He's currently ranked like 13th in the nation. He's a two-time Nevada state champion. And then we got a uh, couple, two other kids from Illinois, um, Clay Lutzow and Jason Fugel. And then uh, we also got another PA kid, uh, Connor Moran, who took fifth in the state last year and is currently ranked number one in the state of Pennsylvania. Um, so it's been going good. It's been going good to have three nationally ranked guys coming to Drexel in one recruiting class. It's it's big. It's big, and um, they're going to step in and make an immediate impact. We're very very excited about them, and we hope to just build on that for this next year and 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 bring in you know even better recruits. Hopefully, I mean I, it's that that's a that's a sound recruiting class there. Um, so I'm I'm very proud of that, and I'm very excited about the future of Drexel wrestling.